What is going on, everyone? It's Scott back from CryptoCroc. I just want to thank everyone who's been subscribing to our channel, who's been liking and watching our videos. It really does help, guys. Uh, I just want to talk about a little bit about the market and specifically today about Tron. Tron is having lots of news. Um, today is the launch day of their mainnet, and they've actually got a, um, a live stream going on their website. So I will link it in the comment section below. You guys can go check it out. It is live as we speak. So be sure to go talk about it um, on their comment section on YouTube. And basically, um, Tron is getting lots of good publicity and Tron is very, um, I don't wanna say cocky, but one of the comments that the founder basically said was that they're going to blow Ethereum's blockchain out of the water and they're going to make D apps um, on the Tron, uh, you know, ecosystem much more, uh, I guess, better overall. Um, and so they were basically poking on Ethereum. So uh, pretty interesting news. So, anyways, guys, regardless, on the market here, we're seeing it kind of in another de uh, red day. Um, it's we've seen a couple days up, a couple days down. Overall, we just can't seem to get over this hump. This three hundred twenty-four million dollar market cap is just a difficult market cap to get over. Um, and there's actually lots of um, technical analysis being done, and certain traders are actually thinking that there is a wedge forming. Um, and basically, uh, there's lots of prediction about Bitcoin. By the end of 2018, going to that magical number of fifty thousand dollars. So who knows if that's going to be possible? Um, the technical analysis is saying that it could be, and uh, ultimately we'll, we'll find out, right? So today I want to talk about a new coin. It's called IOTEX, and the ticker is IOTX. Currently up four percent on the day. And it's actually having uh, a little bit of a wild ride itself. So it opened up around 32, uh, no, 0.032. Um, and a couple days later, it dropped all the way down to right around two cents. And now we're kind of coming back up to right around that initial ICO range. And uh, currently, the thing about I IOTX is it's getting a lot of market cap. This coin has only been out for, I want to say four days now, and it already has a $31 billion market cap. So it seems like five to $10 billion uh, is going into this coin every single day, and it's now already reached rank 265. And look at the circulating supply. Only one-tenth of it is currently in circulation. So there is still tons of room to grow um, tons of room for IOTX to get out there. And uh, yeah, I want to talk a little bit about it. And right now, it's on very few exchanges. It's on KuCoin, Gate.io, and IDEX. Um, and yeah, not much not much more to say about that. Um, so yeah, guys, let's go take a look at their website and let's see what they're all about. So what is IOTEX? So IOTEX stands for the Internet of Things Exchange. And basically, it's a decentralized network for the Internet of Things. And the other big coin that comes to mind when we talk about IoT is IOTA. And if you look back on CoinMarketCap, IOTA is actually having a pretty decent run. It is now up to rank 9, and we're seeing it... Um, Actually, we're seeing it in a little bit of a lull right now, but it had a nice run here from 96 cents to almost 227. Um, and so if you guys don't already know IOTA, it's an Internet of Things value coin. They're wanting everything to run off of IOTA, smart contracts. Um, they want you know cars and anything to be connected to the internet to be able to talk to each other, share data, um, share resources. Um, and the biggest thing about IOTEX is that they're focused on three things, privacy, scalability and availability, and interoperability. And so basically, they're going to decentralize the control, avoid exposing data to centralized parties. So what that means is they don't want one central company to be involved 
with housing all of the data because if that company gets hacked, well, you, are, you all know how that's gonna turn out. Then you've got the scalability and availability. So high throughput for billions of potential IoT devices in the world that are gonna be coming up, you know, 2018, 2019, 2020. Um, it's really gonna be the year of IoT. And with, with that is all of these devices need to talk to the network somehow and they need to be extremely low cost. Otherwise people aren't going to use them. And finally, interoperability. So devices and systems work together autonomously at scale to realize the full value of IoT. So one example of that, and this is just kind of coming at the top of my head, is if you've got a bunch of cars and they're driving down a highway, all these cars are talking to each other and they're saying, you know, I'm going 80 miles an hour on the left lane and I want to pass someone. So it's going to you know, this car is going to talk to their car all over the internet, all over IoT, and it's basically going to say, hey, I'm coming up on your side, you know, just kind of get ready for me, right? And so that can happen because of interoperability. These devices are going to be able to talk to each other. They're going to be able to share information. They're going to be able to speak each other's language, right? So, for example, you know, um, your toaster might be able to be, uh, you know, powered on the internet one day and when your alarm clock wakes up at 7 a.m. your toaster knows to start cooking your toast at 7.05 because it takes you you know f uh, five minutes to get downstairs and uh, then your blender is going to turn on and make your protein shake and everything's just going to be inter you know interconnected and that is what's really exciting about these IOT coins and these IOT plays and IoT X has these innovations. So they're going to talk about fast consensus, support for millions of nodes with instant finality and lower latency. So again, that's for everyone talking to each other. They want to have almost, you know, zero lag. Everything will just be instant, you know, instant communication. Um, built in privacy. So they want to focus really on privacy. They don't want data to be leaked they don't want data to be falling into you know other hands um, other companies that could potentially utilize that data to their power um, and they're also talking about blockchains in blockchains so there's a lot of talk about blockchains and then we've got blockchains and side chains and now we've got talk about blockchains within blockchains so it's pretty exciting they talk about like plasma pull states off the root chain to further boost privacy, scalability, and interoperability, innovative cross-chain transferring of value of data. And finally, autonomous device coordination, decentralized autonomous organization for IoT, code is the law for the robot world. Wow, pretty exciting. Um, here's the architecture. So again, we've got the fast consensus, lightweight stealth address um, connected to the root chain. We've got your side chains. And then ultimately they're connected to the subchain, which then shares in the smart contracts. So the really important thing about these sort of projects that are coming out and these um, the success behind them, yes, it's the technology, but the technology is nothing if, unless you ha don't have a strong team. And when I look through this team, I was completely blown away by, you know, just how how well the wealth of knowledge in this room you know when these guys go into room they're just you know a bunch of brainiacs basically so we've got Rulin Chai he's a PhD research scientist in cryptography at U Waterloo uh, head of crypto R&D at Uber security engineer at Google so this guy's got like you know a vast amount of knowledge when it comes to crypto um, and I think he's going to be a great CEO to lead the company to success. We've also got the other co-founder, uh, Kivon Guao, who is a PhD in uh, machine learning and computer vision at National University of Singapore, uh, engineering research scientist at Facebook. So again, these guys have left their, you know, t you know, tier one level jobs to basically run with their passion and start up their own company. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. And it looks like we've got a third co-founder, founding par 
partner of Sparkland Capital, focusing on frontier tech. Um, so it seems like she might have a lot of the finance experience when it comes to the team. Then we've got more PhDs, more PhDs in data science, uh, security, software engineers, blockchain engineers. Um, you know, and blockchain engineers are, are relatively a new breed of of people. You know, you got software engineers, but blockchain engineers are, in my opinion, even more of a niche, right? Because they're they're super and they're ultra focused on the blockchain. Um, but having that strong foundation of ultimately understanding how code works is what makes them so popular and so so much of a, a strong growth uh, potential to go into, right? A great career path. If you're looking at a, a potential, you know, um, university degree, I think that's an awesome way to pursue your your career. And here's some of the advisors that are sticking with them. You've got an IEEE fellow, professor of University of Waterloo in Canada, top scientist in cryptography. So, I mean, her her stats speak for herself. Jack Lee, managing partner, Foxconn Group. Um, Again, speaks for himself. And then you've got this other guy, Fan Zhang. Look at all of these investors. We've got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, almost 30 plus investors. And some big names stick out. You got Neo. Um, what else here? Uh, a couple capital companies, some angel investment companies, strategic partner groups. So IOTX is, is slated to boom. Like, this coin has so much brain power behind it. I think they're in, they're focusing definitely on the right market. IoT, AI, AR, um, all of these technologies are going to be just taking off in the next two to three years. We're already seeing a lot of, um, a lot of talk about IoT, and uh, we we really do like competition in the market. Um, I think uh, IOTA needs another, you know, another contender per se to really. Um, to really you know challenge them and ultimately hopefully they can work on different projects that don't necessarily overlap to ultimately help the overall iot infrastructure the growth you know similar to um similar to the space race back in the 60s right we, you know the president's um trying to get a man to the moon well russia's also trying to get a man to the moon and they're just pouring so much money into research and development all the smartest engineers and brainiacs are getting together to ultimately um, get that person to the moon and sure enough we we made it right so i think that is the the next thing that we really need to focus on is iot and here's their roadmap so currently we're sitting in what's may 30th right now so we're right around june this is the test net alpha launch and we're, we don't actually see the main net to launch until one year from now, back in September. So September 2019 is when the main net's going to launch. So we've got a long ways to go, but we're going to be laying the groundwork. Um, and uh, I think IoT EX can definitely do so. So um, definitely check out this coin. It's not being traded right now on many exchanges. Um, so that's one thing that could potentially, I wouldn't say hurt it right now, but once it can get onto a bigger exchange, that's only going to excel its growth. And just as a disclaimer, guys, I, uh, I do own some IoT EX. I've purchased it on IDEX, and I'm going to be a long-term holder. So I think, um, you know, when I make my investments into these uh, cryptocurrencies, I look for three things. I look for the team, I look for the technology, and I look for their roadmap. And I think these guys nail all three on the head, and they have a really strong potential ahead of them. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching the video. We're gonna be keep, we're gonna be coming out with crypto videos every single day, telling which ones to buy and which ones to stay away from. IoT EX is a buy for me right now, and we'll talk to you guys on the next video.